Hi, I'm Andrew Sheps, and welcome to the Dadman configuration video for MomDeck. I'm not going to cover any of the functionality of MomDeck itself here. This is just to help you get Dadman set up so that it will work. The first thing I'm going to talk about very quickly is building a monitor profile, because you will need a monitor profile to be able to control it. I would assume most of you, since you already have the interface and you're running Dadman, have already done this, so I will just show you very quickly. In the monitor profile configuration, which you can get to from the settings menu, on the first tab, a groups list. These groups are each a monitor group. So the monitor group consists of a number of inputs, a number of outputs, and then a couple of extra things. So let's look at my headphone group. And I've named it headphones, doesn't know what it is. It is a Q group and monitor A for Yukon, so you can set up Yukon control, and some of you have probably been using that on a Pro Tools dock or on the Avid Control app. Then this group has sources and outputs. So here are all of the things that I want to be able to feed to my headphones. And these are just sources that are coming from different inputs to Dadman. They can come from any input you've got. Then you can make new ones, you can change how many channels they have, etc. So you set up all of the things you might want to listen to on a certain set of outputs. And then for outputs, you select the outputs that you want it to go to and the channel width of that output. Then aside from sources and outputs, you can also have fold downs, which I'm not using in the headphone monitor group. But if we look in my speakers, I am in fact using some fold downs. And then you've got a meter assignment, whether it's going to be pre-fade or post-fader. And there is also talkback, which can be assigned within each group. Okay, so that is a monitor group. Now, how do we actually talk to the mom once we create it? There is another tab all the way over here called mom. And this is where you set up a mom profile. So I have a hardware mom, which is already hooked up. Uh, and it has four layers. And you can have different assignments in the four layers. On the mom itself, there is one button that's labeled layer. And as you hit it, it will step through your active layers. And when you get to layer four and hit it again, you go back to layer one. So you just cycle through. To assign a button, all you do, I'll go to layer four where you can see some empty buttons. And you can do this whether it's assigned already or not. You just right click in the row. And then you say, well, what do you want to assign it to? And in this case, let's assign it to switching to a certain input on my headphones. So I go down to headphones, I go to sources, I pick any one of these sources, and I say element active. It's that simple. The options for all of these buttons are exactly the same. And then down at the bottom, you have your level assignment. So if you right click here, you can assign that knob to anything. Now it can't have functionality like a button, but it controls level. So you can either assign it to the level of the output or the level of any of your inputs. And that's it, it's that simple. And again, each layer has different assignments. And as you go through the layers, they're all there. You'll see in the video about setting up the MomDeck software, how cool it is that you can actually name and color buttons because on the hardware mom these are just white squares and they have a printed label so you would have to remember what you've assigned to each button on each layer or you'd have to have a pretty small label maker and some very good eyesight all right very quickly the last bit of dadman i want to show you is when you're setting this up for the first time you're going to have to actually get the device that is the software mom, connect to it, and then assign a mom profile to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my device list. And you can see here that this has connected to my software mom before, so it already shows up in the list. But if you've never launched this before, you would have your interface, and then if you have a hardware mom, it would show up, but that would be it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to launch one of the apps that's part of the package. It's on another screen. And what you'll see is that nothing's really going on because we haven't told Dadman to connect to it. As soon as I hit connect, it's unit ready. So there's a little handshaking that goes on and it's very, very fast. That's it. We are now hooked up to the software mom in the device list, which means Dadman can see it. Then we can come back to the mom tab here. We can right click and we can attach it to the SoundFlow mom. 
And that's it. We're now controlling Dadman using MomDeck. You want to see how you can actually use MomDeck to do that? Check out the other videos. There's one that just is a walkthrough of the functionality, and then there's one more detailed to show you what all of the components inside of the package are, because there are a lot of them, and it's very, very flexible. All right, thanks.